Hi everybody, this is Janice, and I am back with a Cricut cartridge. Yay! This is the Close to My Heart Cricut Artistry cartridge, and I'm just playing around right now, and then I'm going to make a card, but I wanted to show you something. I don't know, if you're just a clap, what, tell me about you. Do you use a Cricut Explore, Cricut Create, an original baby bug? What do you use? Or do you use the Cricut Explore with your computer or your iPad or your phone? I use the Explore with my iPad and my phone. Sometimes I might use my laptop, but very rarely do I ever do that anymore because it's just easier. I mean, I really hardly use my laptop at all these days, but um, I have... Um, grabbed these two images from the Close to My Heart Cricut Artiste cartridge that is in my, um, it's linked, you know, so I just go to Cricut Design Space and it's there. Um, but sometimes it can be kind of tricky. And so if you're new and you're used to just turning to the book number, and then hitting the button on the overlay, it can be daunting a little bit, maybe, unless you're just tech savvy and you just figured out how to do it right away. It took, it, it gave me a little anxiety at first, I have to be honest, um, but I didn't let that stop me because I don't, you know, I don't play that. So, <laughs> I um, want to use this frame right here. I love this one here. Let's get something so you can see okay see this frame right here I love this frame I love this one and this one they're my favorites and but like I said before or if you've not watched me before it, it doesn't cut this image of the frame if you want that cut out you have to fussy cut it okay and so that's what I did I stamped it on some fern paper and I fussy cut around it. There's ways around that. I have not learned how to do that yet. I definitely want to learn how to put an image from a stamped image and put it into my design space, um, but I haven't done that yet. So that's what I have there. What it's going to cut is this inside shape right here. So how do you find that? in your Cricut design space when you go to the cartridge, right? Because in the book, it doesn't have a name. Let me show you. What page does that say? It's on page 31. Okay, so we'll turn to page 31 there. And there's the shape, okay? It's just called shape. So, you know, if that was a circle or a triangle or a rectangle or a square something with a name I could just say that but it doesn't I mean what is that called okay so I use the word paradise to find it um, because that's what it says there so in the search it has to say search Cricut Artiste cartridge I put paradise and it came up with everything that had to do like the birds of paradise plant was there but this was also there and so that's why I have this paradise shape right there okay and then I wanted this shape and so I tried different things you know fern leaf plant well the answer was leaf okay and so once you know these kinds of things, I mean, you can make notes for yourself. What I do and what I'm going to do, I usually will cut out a sample of the shape and put it inside the little envelope and put the number that's assigned to it. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go back. This thing's plugged in because it's low on battery. Um, let's go to image here. And if you see here on this little corner there, there's an I, a letter I. When you hit that, that's the information, what the image is called and what number. It has a number to it. So if you cut out the shape and you write down, sometimes I do it on a sticky note, but um, you know, that might be better. I, You know what I might do? Here, you guys can give me your opinion. What would you do? 
just to reference it, okay? Because I'm not going to remember that long number each time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out that shape and I'm going to trace it on the back of the cardstock that came in here in with the cartridge and I'm going to trace it and I'm going to write that reference number including that number sign there that you see right there that too and you just keep that reference it and then I'll show you how you um, would look for it so let's go up here and we would put in that number I have it here so I'm going to say, um, nope, back it up. It's that number sign or hashtag, whatever you call it, pound sign, M, M, M416, sorry, I, fab, <laughs> it says fab, F, A, B, I don't know if it has to be but um, then hit search and see that item comes up, okay? So I hope that helps. I mean, it really certainly helped me. And then I'm keeping just a note for myself so that I can put it maybe in the description box below. Um, and then you could put it someplace, however you're going to reference these things, a book, a, um, I mean, I don't know, maybe a notebook, you know? I don't know, however you do it maybe you have an idea please share it with us so I'm gonna close this out because I already have that and so now I'm gonna size that to what I need it to be and it says here that it needs to be one and a half so I'm gonna go to edit it was already there and I'm gonna go to height because everything is based on height so one point because that's half so 1.5 so there we go and then this I want it to it's gonna come out from the back so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and see how I want it to look uh, I think I might on it smaller and I want two of them so actions duplicate and now I have two and I want it to flip around so I'm gonna say edit and see there horizontal you may know how to do this already but I'm thinking of people who need help here okay if you need help you may be watching YouTube okay so now I have two of those and then I want to get rid of that paradise I don't need that so I'm gonna go to actions and I'm gonna see right here those are connected they're grouped together we want to ungroup them okay so now they are ungrouped and look what happens you got to kind of like tap it once and then it has a little X there and take it out and it's not going to cut it out okay and it doesn't matter that that turned and what else do we want to do I think that's it okay so I'm going to cut this out I'm going to load my Cricut with some paper and then I'll come back and I'll show you the card okay thanks for watching please let me know um, thumbs up if that really helped you or if um, you know you don't really need help with what do you guys want to see when it comes to Cricut like that's what I need to know so that I can make appropriate videos for you because I make these videos for you all um, it's fun for me to share but I'd like to share what's most helpful to you so let me know what that might be. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.